Good morning, you guys. I'm doing like the most simple makeup this morning because we have um, to leave here in like five minutes to take Grace into school. And um, today is Tatum's allergy appointment. So I was trying to find a water bottle to take my vitamins. I'm taking my probiotic, my daily vitamins. And then I'm also on Accutane. I started, this is my one, two, three, four, five, six, eighth day um, on Accutane. It's not for the acne on my face. Um, it's for my back acne, and I get acne like on my chest and my stomach area too. Um, I do get breakouts on my face frequently, actually. Um, for my age, I feel like I'm 30. I shouldn't be breaking out as much as I do on my face, but it's mainly for my body acne. These are so hard to push out, by the way. If you've ever taken this, um, I'm on 40 milligrams, and um, so far, I'm just pretty dry. Um, not anything crazy, but it's only eight, day eight. Good morning. Okay, I wanna show you Tatum's skin before we go to the allergist. Show you what we're working with. Um, this is her back. I would say her back probably the worst right now. And at first, it used to be her legs. Her legs still are really bad. Like her whole leg is like really scaly and dry. I just put some um, coconut oil on them. But really sad and then her arms I see your arms baby her arms are pretty bad too in the creases it's on her chest it's basically everywhere except her face so we're hoping to get more answers at the allergist and I will update you guys um, on what they say you ready baby we gotta get dressed okay she's eating a gluten-free fig bar right now We are back home now from the allergist and she basically just wrote it off that it was classic eczema, which I mean, we know already that it's eczema. I'm just wanting to know what's causing it, like the root cause. Um, but she just said it's classic eczema and prescribed Tatum a steroid cream that we have not yet picked up because they have to mix it. She said it takes like an hour or something. So we're going to go pick it up later this afternoon. Um, she said she doesn't think it's the dog. She doesn't think it's anything food related. She just said it looks like classic eczema and that was pretty much the extent of the appointment. Um, I, I don't know, I feel kind of defeated because um, we still don't have an answer. Um, I know ex there's always an underlying issue on why someone has eczema 99% of the time. Um, and I want to know what that is and it doesn't seem like our allergist is on the same page with me I don't know if we need to get a second opinion um, Seems like Adam is pretty much okay with doing the steroid cream um, And I'm not like opposed to it, but I know that there is like long-term effects from using a steroid like it can thin your skin um, and your body becomes really dependent on it and once you stop the steroid, the eczema can come back even worse. And I just don't want to put a band-aid on this issue. I want to find out the root cause. Tatum does see a functional medicine doctor and we have sent in a stool sample of hers. We did that a couple days ago, so we're waiting to get that back to see if it's anything gut related. Um, and then her functional medicine doctor can put us on a, or put her on a plan if anything does show in her stool um we've already done a blood test for tatum for the top food allergens and she did come back positive for um, a mild allergy for eggs and dairy so she has been completely off eggs and dairy for almost a month now i think um I have started her on an elimination diet, so I've pretty much removed everything from her diet. Soy, nuts, gluten, wheat, um, 
berries like strawberries and raspberries um corn eggs dairy like cheese all of that she doesn't eat any of that um and she hasn't for the last like four days now so it's very new um and i told her allergist this and she said that's um, something that we can definitely do and then just slowly start adding those things back into her diet to see if um, she has a reaction to those certain foods so that's where we're at right now it's just so frustrating because I know she's in pain and it hurts her she scratches at her legs um, her ankles mostly because we usually have her in like a zip up sleeper so she can't scratch her skin um, but she can get to her ankles and scratch her ankles and her ankles will bleed and she's just so like dry and her skin just feels so uncomfortable for her. I can tell she's uncomfortable and I just feel horrible for her. So I don't know. I'm going to talk to Adam when he gets home from work and see if we can um, figure out a plan moving forward. Maybe get a second opinion. Um, I'm going to keep in touch with her doctor, obviously her functional medicine doctor. And I don't know, but yeah that's where we're at right now um we have a launch we're typically blush today it's thursday so i'm gonna try on those pieces up there and do my try on in stories for instagram right now and then tomorrow we actually leave for amanda's ranch um, we're gonna go out there again with the kids grayson loved it out there like he was in his element and just had a smile on his face the whole time when we were at stella's birthday so um, we're gonna go back out because they are selling their ranch and they won't have it um, anymore after like this next month. I think the last this is the last month that they have the ranch. So we're gonna go out there one last time and hang out with them. Um, so I need to start packing for that after I film my try on. Okay, I just finished my try on and I don't wanna take this little lounge set off. It's so cute and comfortable. Um, it has a cute little leopard heart and the matching shorts. It's like a cream lightweight waffle knit. So I'm gonna probably stay in this for the rest of the day unless I have to leave the house, which I think I might have to a little bit later. But um, here are the new rifles. Um, this romper, you guys, is so cute on. It looks like a dress, but um, it's not. It's a romper and it's really comfortable. I'm wearing this um, on our next date night for sure. Um, we have a really cute cover up, um, another bodysuit, and some 4th of July options. I love this sweater. Another 4th of July option. We launched this in blue and it sold out, but we're doing uh, white today. This denim paper bag skirt is so cute on, really flattering. Um, this little lightweight knit tank. And then I paired it with this and it's super cute with some denim shorts or jeans. Um, and then here are the previous week's new arrivals, but you guys probably already saw those. Tatum steroid is ready to be picked up. So I'm gonna go pick that up right now, but I was just reading through some of the paperwork that her allergist sent us home with. She basically just sent us home with a bunch of paperwork on what eczema is. I basically could have Googled this and I have. I already know what eczema is. I already know what the symptoms are. I already know, I already know all this stuff. So I don't understand, like, I'm reading it basically to see if, like, it says what I thought it was going to say. And it does. It says in black and white right here. It tends to be more common in certain families and in those with environmental allergies, food allergies, and or asthma. There's no actual cure, but it's treated by avoiding or eliminating aggravating factors such as these things up here. So I'm just so confused like why she didn't have her tested and why she's just like slapping a band-aid on it. Like I'm, it says in black and white right here. Eliminate aggravating factors. How are we supposed to know like what to eliminate if we don't know what it is? I'm just so confused. Are you guys as confused as I am? Oh my gosh. Anyways, I'm going to go pick up the steroid and I just yeah. got to the drive through pharmacy. I'm waiting for her steroid right now and I'm applying a lip mask because my lips are starting to get really dry from the Accutane. They're not really peeling yet, but I keep this in my car. I got this from Thrive. It's by Dr. Papa. It's a lip mask and I literally just like slather it on. There we go. Thank you. Day. You Thank too. You. Bye -bye. I just picked Gray up from school. He's eating my tater tots 
that I got from Sonic earlier for lunch. Are those good? <laughs> He's so freaking cute, I can't handle him. Okay, we just got home. I'm about to put Tatum's steroid on her body. Um, She took a bath earlier, so I'm gonna put this on, just like a super thin layer. Mmm, take a back massage. Does it hurt? You think it hurts? No, it's fine. Okay, I'm making Tatum her bottle. This is the milk that she's on right now. She likes the vanilla. She won't drink the plain one. Um, and then this is her probiotic. Um, this is what Grayson uses too. It's a powder and I just put like a little bit in her bottle once a day. I just got her um, lotioned up. She's in my arms. It's kind of hard to do this one-handed. Thanks for Papa. Say Papa. 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 Oh, are you sleepy? Okay, it's a few hours later. I am starting to pack for tomorrow. We leave tomorrow afternoon and we come home like Sunday afternoon. So we're only going to be there for like a day. Um, but I'm so excited to go back there because the kids just love it so much. So I'm starting to pack. I'm in our closet right now. Um, we really don't need a ton since we're only going to be there a short while. Um, I just packed some pajamas. These are some of my favorites right now. We have these in cream too on typically blush. They're like a little lounge set with some shorts and bring that and then a bathing suit we're probably just gonna be like at the pool in their backyard the whole time so I really don't need to bring a bunch I'm trying to figure out which bathing suit to bring this one's really cute it's from Amazon um, I was gonna bring it to Mexico but I um, didn't need to because I didn't I didn't need another bathing suit but it comes with a matching a little sarong. So maybe I'll bring this one. I need to find the bottoms. Okay. Okay, I'm pretty much packed up for Adam and I. I didn't feel like I needed to use packing cubes since we're only gonna be there for a day. Um, I have our bathing suits right here, underwear, a pair of sandals for me, and then this is what I'm gonna wear um, on the drive there. A little um, lightweight cardigan and this top. And then this is Adam's outfit and he'll just wear like his sandals on the way there and probably the whole time so now I just need to um pack everything up for the kids which I'll probably end up doing tomorrow we're just going to use one suitcase but now I need to pack our toiletries I honestly don't understand how this happens <sighs> like what this is Adam in a nutshell like you guys remember how organized this used to be it's driving me insane so expect an organization video soon on this whole situation you guys want to see my side i feel like oh, he does actually have spin um lazy seasons like i do but he still cannot keep them organized i'm kind of overflowing on product here um but this is what my side looks like <laughs> i can't with him Drives me crazy. Um, okay, so I need to pack my toiletries. And do you guys bring like your whole skincare routine with you when you're traveling, even for like a day? I feel like it's kind of pointless. Um, but I cannot forget my Accutane and my probiotic. Um, like, I don't know if I need my vitamin C serum and my under eye serum and all of that. I probably just need like my um, aquaphor, aquaphor because I'm so dry right now. A couple hair ties, face wash, some makeup wipes, and call it a day. Um, and then I need to pack Adams. All he needs is like deodorant and like half of these are empty and he just leaves them in here. I'm like, why don't you just throw them away? Like, I don't understand. 
hair product, toothbrush, toothpaste. Gosh, guys are so simple. Okay. A new place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time, just enjoy the ride.